for thousands of years, humans have stared up into space with wonder and awe. Space exploration has been a motivation for individuals, companies, nations, and even humanities. Since their earliest of days, most people can recall dreaming amongst the stars and yearning to know about the universe that lies beyond. The question that we must ask ourselves is how far are we willing to go to know about life beyond our atmosphere? With the revolution of the technical age and the ever-growing developments among the field of science, Earth's reach of the stars becomes ever so much closer. Influential CEOs continue to push the limits of human understanding and drive the cause to experience the world beyond ours. In turn, people everywhere continue to entertain the idea of the common man living in space. As these exciting times fill everyday media and capture our conversations, there is a concern that the masses may not stop to consider. What are we willing to lose? What is it that we are willing to give to reach the stars? Health, money, our overall wellness, and perhaps even our lives may be calculated into that cost. While many people understand that life beyond gravity is lived differently, most people do not understand the implications and the cost space life truly carries. Following the start of the era of space stations, which allowed humans to inhabit space for long periods, exposure to weightlessness or zero gravity living has been understood to have some seriously damaging effects on human health. Humans are well adept to the life on Earth. In response to the extended periods of space living, various physiological systems begin to weaken and change. Though these changes are usually temporary, as we continue to experience space and life, it is understood that long-term health issues can result. Many people are aware of how the early hours of space life are met with the agonizing onset of space adaptation syndrome, commonly referred to as space sickness. Symptoms of space sickness include nausea, vomiting, vertigo, headaches, lethargy, and overall malice. The duration of space sickness varies, but often only lasts about 72 hours. The most significant adverse effects on long-term space weightness lists are muscle atrophy, where human muscles reduce in mass, strength, and performance. Additionally, space travelers experience deterioration of the skeleton, or spaceflight osteopenia. Blood flow decreases in space in response to the lack of gravity, a decrease in production of red blood cells, balance disorders, and a weakening of the immune system can occur. The biggest concern comes when we consider the goals of the space industry. NASA has reported that manned spaceflight may harm the brains of space travelers and accelerate the onset of Alzheimer's. The reality of the situation is that currently humans are not sufficiently equipped to live beyond Earth. While the public continues to fascinate over the ideas, these plagues of illnesses seem to be ignored by the grandeur of the beyond. While commercial space flights are not yet practiced, it is important that people recognize the dangers of this fantasy. Space is not like the movies. It actually is a very dangerous proposition, only to be explored by those who are willing to truly pay all of the cost.